Hey guys, so we just had a woman reach out to us who found a bearded dragon just wandering in her yard in South Florida. Now bearded dragons are not native here, they're native to Australia. They're not invasive here either, okay? There's not an invasive population of bearded dragons in Florida, but they're extremely common in the pet trade. So we are assuming this is either an escaped or an abandoned pet, and we're gonna meet up with her and see if we can help it out. I thought it was like a bag going across and then I realized it stopped and popped into the belly. Hi. Under the, under the belly. Aww. Is that how you do it with us? Yeah. What a sweetheart. So I don't handle many lizards. <laughs> so Hi. Had it been a snake, I would have been fine, but no, oh. I don't handle many lizards. No. <laughs> we, we're full right now with rodents and puppies yeah. and fish and so You're cutie. Yeah, my yeah. puppies would. My kids would love to. I had to get him out before the kids woke up. Yeah. They saw him, they would have <laughs> wanted him, and I can't. So, um, yeah, we were just meeting them and talking about it. Why don't you reiterate what, uh, what happened? Well, I was pulling up at home and I, I thought I saw a bag going across my neighbor's yard and then it stopped and poked his little head up and I realized he was a little bearded dragon. Yeah, so he's definitely a pet. He looks like a morph. He's not exactly like the common looking bearded dragon. And as you can see, he's very friendly well and well taken care of. Well taken care of. I mean, there's not even like mud or anything on him. I mean, this thing's been outside for not a very long time. I mean, I, I could guess that just by looking at it and looking at the belly scales, like it's totally white on the belly right there. So this thing has been outside for probably just a few days, if that. If you know? that, I mean, my, my neighbors all have dogs and plenty of cats in the neighborhood. So I don't think he could have gotten, honestly, I don't think he could have gotten far around my neighborhood. I can't imagine how he to survive at all. Yeah. He's very healthy, well taken care of. Got his, all of his claws, got a full tail, hasn't run into any cats yet. Nope. <laughs> Definitely. Super cute. Well, yeah, thanks for finding him and bringing him to us, and we'll see if we can uh, find no, his owners. I appreciate you guys. I just wanted to, you know. Yeah, so so you already asked around to see if anybody yeah, I was asked, missing? Yeah, I asked my neighbors. I went around my neighborhood, and no one had said anything. And I, and I, I told them, if anything, you know you, you know where I live, come by, and I know where he's at. He's safe. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll see if we can find the owner or anything like that, but uh, really, really cute, friendly. It will not be hard to find him a new home. So no, he's that's really sure. cute. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, Clovey? So this guy is super cute and absolutely someone's pet that just very recently ended up out there in the wild. And I mean, you just tell from the behavior and then from the look of the animal, no, the bearded dragon does not like you. Um, just from the, uh, the look of the animal, it's very well kept. All the nails look good. The tip of the tail is totally intact. There's like no uh, dirt on the belly at all either. And so that tells me that this animal has been out in the wild for, I mean, hours or days. You know, it has not been out there very long. So the possibilities of how it ended up out there, somebody could have released it, you know, uh, that just like TikTok or ball python, that was 100% dumped. This animal could have been dumped. I doubt it though, just having a look at it. It probably uh, was a situation where it may have escaped from somebody. Sometimes people underestimate them and try to put them out for some sunshine in a small enclosure or something like that and they jump out. Or if you just put it on the ground and people think, oh, it's my pet. Inside, it's always so nice. Sometimes when you put a reptile outside and they get natural sunlight, they get all like amped and they just take off. And so that's definitely an option too. Um, could have been kept by a, a child, you know? I mean, if it was a young kid and this is their pet and they put it outside and were playing with it and it just boom, took off, that's definitely an option too. So, I mean, that's probably the most likely scenario here is that it was a, a, a kid or something like that, their pet, and it probably just took off running. So they did ask everybody in the neighborhood about it. Nobody really knows. Um, so, you know, that's, that's not a good sign, but we're gonna try to see if we can find the original owner. Now we knew TikTok was 100% dumped because it was at a park that is literally surrounded by highways. Uh, there's not a home anywhere near that park. And uh, if it did come from a home, it would have had to cross like six lanes of highway to get to that park. So 100% TikTok was dumped. This guy though is in a backyard in a residential area. And that means it's far more likely that this animal escaped. Oh yeah, totally interesting. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, good stuff, huh? <laughs> what is this crap? <laughs> Do you like blueberries? Do you like blueberries? What kind of bearded dragon doesn't like blueberries? Maybe he's expecting it to be a... Cricket? <laughs> yeah, because it was moving. No? Not good enough? Are you sure? 
What about a super worm? We have some super worms. Yeah, we try that. Well, they didn't seem to like the blueberries, but we're gonna try some super worms. Not impressed. All I can see right now is the scratches on this couch from the cat. <laughs> there we go. I'm not impressed with that one. <laughs> Here's Azu. He's like, I want those. Give me those to me. There you go, buddy. Should I get more? You can give him like one more. He looks cool. well taken care of. I, I don't know. think he's, he's starving. Yeah, he he's definitely has not been uh, surviving in the wild for long. That's for sure. No, he's really well cared for. I, I wouldn't be surprised that thing was like lost today. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very possible that somebody brought this thing outside thinking, you know, inside they're very calm. They're nice. You know, it's a pet and they bring it outside and then they get black and they, they get the sun on them and they get all amped up and they just take off running. You know, Gabby and I both have bearded dragons in the past, and a lot of people are very surprised to see what their docile pet changes from when you go from inside to outside. So we're thinking that is what is most likely what happens. So we're gonna try our best, try to find the owner. We've already posted about it on our social media platforms, put it up on Craigslist, and so we're gonna see if we can find the owner because we're pretty positive this, this bearded dragon must have escaped from somebody within hours or days, right? It has not been outside for very long at all, and obviously, it's a pet, you know? So we definitely wanna to try to find its original owner. I imagine they're probably heartbroken and, and missing their beloved pet. So if anybody has any ideas on where we should be posting, you know, leave a comment, let us know. What do you think we should be doing to try to get this information out there more? And if you can share the video, we can get it out to more people. Eventually somebody's gonna see this and be like, oh my God, that's my baby. And uh, you know, they'll contact us and we can reunite this uh, bearded dragon with their original owner. So leave a comment, let us know, and please share it. So we'll keep you guys updated on what happens with this bearded dragon. In other news, we're at 95,000 subscribers, which means we're only 5,000 away from 100K, and we're gonna be doing a 100K giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned for that, and we'll be bringing you more information as we find that out. He's so cute. Isn't he? Look at him looking at me. I love him. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next episode.